So let's grab that Mayron palette and start airbrushing. Hello, Chris Alex here. I wanna have a little chat with you, specifically how I take solid makeups and airbrush them. If you're familiar with my tutorials, you'll probably notice that I rely on my airbrush a lot. And you might also notice that I rarely use liquid products. We're gonna go through three different types of products. Water activated makeup, like Mayron and Graftobian. Alcohol activated, like Skin Illustrator. And finally, eyeshadows. So stick around if you wanna know my secret. Method one. We're gonna start with water activated makeup. I tend to use Mayron because I love how the palette has all the different colors to my disposal. So you're gonna want a watercolor brush. I got these from Amazon and definitely the fatter the better. You're gonna wanna activate the color and you're gonna use water just like you would if you were gonna paint with a brush. Keep working in the water until it's the consistency we like. Breaking it against the side of the cup to fill the airbrush. So now I just wanna cover a little bit more about the consistency you're looking for. And this might be really useful for anyone not familiar with airbrushing or just getting into it. So let's talk about it. So the thickness of the product is gonna be different depending on your setup from the needle size of your airbrush to the pressure you are spraying with. So if you aren't getting any color coming through or it's spitting as opposed to a soft spray, you're going to wanna either up your air pressure or thin the liquid. I also find that Graftobian makeups are a bit creamier. So when doing this process, you may find you need to thin it a little more than if you're used to the Mayron. The reverse of that is this is gonna happen. And this means you're gonna wanna add more pigment. So grab some thicker mixture and that should fix the issue right up. Now for method two, alcohol activated color. So I do have Skin Illustrator liquids and they're super convenient and they also come in every color that you see in the palettes. But sometimes I just don't have the space to have all these bottles lying around while I'm working. So you're gonna wanna use the same technique as the water activated. Only this time, you're using 99% alcohol or the activator. Using the watercolor brush in the same way. And also the same rules apply as far as adjusting the mixture thickness to your setup. Okay, now that we're still on Skin Illustrator, I wanna give you a little bonus tip. They have regular airbrush liquids, and then there's concentrate. The concentrate is designed more to refill your palettes but I also really love it to get super opaque coverage for body painting faster than I would with the typical airbrush liquid. Now for method three, eyeshadows. Now this is a method that I don't use that often, but you might find it handy. I did a look as an entry for the NYX Face Awards. I really want to use their products, but they don't have any airbrush liquids or water activated body paints. So I decided why not use their eyeshadows, right? It may not have gotten me a slot in the competition, but it still remains one of my favorite looks to date. So you're going to want to crush up that pigment and use a touch of alcohol. I did find that the alcohol worked better than water for this step. Then add some Mayron mixing liquid. The reason I chose to use the mixing liquid over just spraying it in the alcohol is you can kind of see the effect right here. It definitely keeps it in place and then you don't have to worry about accidentally rubbing off everything you just sprayed. I hope this video helped to answer any questions about how I airbrush non-liquid products. And let me know in the comments if there's anything that I might do that you want a little bit more of an in-depth tutorial about. Thank you so much for watching.